Alright. So, what up, mates? It's Omega Dragon. Welcome to Minecraft, where I am going to be doing something temporarily. Because next week, for me, for you guys, it'll be. It would have been earlier. I streamed Minecraft Hardcore Island and don't know it's gonna be edited somebody who I'm going to know right away what it would be I either did Lucky Block Isle or I just played a Minecraft world temporarily Actually, I don't think I don't think I'm going to do that playing a Minecraft role temporarily. So I think I just played two Minecraft maps. So I am here because of the new 1.17 update, but it is not much. So basically, I thought they would make the make a lot of new biomes. In this version but in this version it's basically part one where the second part is going to be released later this year a lot of people wonder why that is because mod the people that made mods basically made basically makes mods in a bit less than two weeks but I actually know why and it's pretty reasonable it's pretty much because the new the new stuff that gets added in are first by our first ideas and then they test them test them a lot before they know for a fact whether it is good or not and they fix some bugs from the previous versions that they tried looking at because it's more of the people than the actual because they also tried to release it for bedrock which is pretty hard to do, understandably. So, before I recorded this, before the stream, I uploaded Dwarven Mining Company Part 3, and it's the final video of Dwarven Mining Company ever, because no matter what I do, even if I restart the world, the dwarves will never be there after I defeat a boss. And it matters that much because of how hard the bosses are. So, here we are in Minecraft 1.17 Part 1. Nothing much, although it looks like a lot, but they don't have the new biomes. And Jesus, freezing like crazy. My skin! I'll never, I'll never replace my skin in this version because it is really hard. It is really hard to make a skin in computer, and I'm never going to be playing computer the computerized version of Minecraft because, for one thing, I love I love recording console editions. The other thing, the screen recording broke recording broke to my OBS so that my frames cannot go any higher than 60. Usually it would be 120 frames per second. So now we are going to be playing Minecraft and doing ultimate one chance but that is temporary. It's like a demo. I'm only recording two of these videos and then I'm playing Mario Golf and then after Mario Golf I'm playing a bunch of Kirby games so the next time I'll be playing Minecraft is as soon as I'm done with every Wii game, which is probably next year. Which what which why I'm doing that is because I don't really like Minecraft that much. Because it is pretty annoying for some of the things I have to do, meaning keep the villagers safe, enchant, and of course, there's a keep inventory rule, but because I, my rule is ultimate one chance, like hardcore mode, except for you can change the difficulty any time, my difficulty will stay on normal, and 
and I have goals for my ultimate one chance that are different, which are that I need to make a villager shed to keep the villagers safe so that they don't get harmed by any mobs. And instead of it being a villager tower like I planned to before, it's going to be a bit easier where I'm going to just fence the villagers, but it's going to be one, one villager by the other. And if they're not good enough, then they go to another shed, which is the miscellaneous shed. I'm thinking of only keeping four villagers, so the shed won't really matter that much. And, the, and that will be the toolsmith, the weaponsmith, armorsmith, and I forgot what that villager was called that trades for, that has a chance to trade for ender pearls. And trades for lapis and redstone. But. Also, there's bartering with the piglins, which every time I look at their nostrils, like their like their nostrils are eyes, because I always thought piglins looked that looked cute with their nostrils being like eyes, but I'm always wrong. Their eyes are pretty hideous. So, I have four sheets of paper. The only difference is I'm not playing on webcam because, for one thing, I would have played with the webcam, but I can't because my webcam doesn't work very well. Unless my frames go up to 120 frames per second, but now my computer crashes every time that happens. So that's why I never use it again. I'm going to create a new world and basically my four pieces of paper, which I'm going to write right now, the back side of my first piece of paper is just another. The rest are the rest are waypoints for the overworld. And I split it in half. I can't really show you my four pieces of paper. My gosh. This table's so hard to write on. The only that's the only bothersome thing is that this table is so hard to write on. It's like I need a book to write on. So for it to not have any kind of problem. I broke the book. So basically my goal is to my goal in this video and I'm going to edit this video because it's going to be recorded for a while is that I am going to find a village to stay in get enough wood to make this shed because it's not going to be made out of stone it's going to be made out of wood which will be replaced with nether bricks because nether bricks are cooler and I'm going to make a base for myself after I make the villager shed. That's basically the goal for the first video. The second video is just adventuring, mining, and surviving in the caves if I can. I'm also just get, making armor for myself as much as I can. For any of you who have not watched my ultimate one chance world you should know that what I always do for my world first is make a bonus chest and have coordinates otherwise the rest are the same but it's not it's not really a cheat the seeds there are now is the abandoned village which which there is actually a I think a 25% chance in this version for the, for abandoned villages to show bamboo forest coastal village forest glade which is cool epic jungle 
which is close to a mesa biome. I love mesa biomes. Desert village, my most favorite kind. Mesa Plateau, Mushroom Island, which is the rarest island ever. Ocean Monument, Spooky Mansion, which is Woodland Mansion, also the rarest. Snowy Village, pretty rare. Outpost Ahead, never seen that really. Stronghold Below, which is Stronghold Village. Sunflower Field, Survival Island, Wet Winding River, Taiga Village, and Taiga Bay. I have seen Taiga Village. They don't have any new seeds, but I'm not making any seeds. And pausing doesn't pause time, I'd have to save and quit in order for me to pause time. I didn't name my world! What I was going to say for my named world was temporary, because I'm deleting it right after, right when the new version comes out. But it's a temporary world. Unless I die, then it's deleted forever. Until the new version comes out. So, building terrain. Here I am. I spawned at a pretty nifty place. I'm already at the... I already forgot what this is called. But I got really good stuff. Acacia log, spruce log, more acacia logs, more spruce. What I'm keeping is the, is any wood, any food. Pumpkin seeds, sure. Then I'm going to sort my inventory as well. Apple, I'm going to keep that right here. Bunches of sticks. I've got a lot of food on my first for my first spawn. With an axe, wooden pickaxe. Don't really care about this map. And the rat and I will keep the fish. So first I need a bit more wood. I have enough to make a crafting table, which I'm going to put right here. A pickaxe right here. And more planks. And then I have I have enough for Yeah, there are sounds in this game. Huh. I'm going to make forget it, I'm actually not gonna make any wooden tools. I'm going to just turn them all into sticks. So that I have enough for the road. I don't remember what this is. I call it, I think it, it's not called the Oasis. Unless it somehow is called that. I haven't played Minecraft in so long I don't remember what each of these biomes are supposedly called. My brother knows because he's played Minecraft a lot. I only know of the basic biomes, except for I also know some of the nether biomes as well. Soul Sand Valley, I keep forgetting, oh yeah, Basalt Plains, which a lot of people hate. I partially agree with them. Acacia Planks, I need the planks in order to make a good enough base for my friends that I will soon meet. I need four stacks of them so that I can so that as soon as I find the villagers I will make the shed first and then after that I will make Fences and fence gates. So even though I said this was going to be edited, I have a bit to talk about before I will edit this. Which is that, of course you guys know because I've said it a lot that this is temporary. 
But the good news for you is that I will be playing some more of Minecraft Ultimate One Chance. As soon as I am all set with every Wii game and feel like playing an Ultimate One Chance world. Of course you see that the chest on the top right corner is has an arrow pointed to it. And why is because whenever there's an arrow over the chest that means that it's loading the chunks. I need to do this. My wooden axe is about to break. I'm pretty much breaking as much as I can for acacia logs until my axe breaks. Then I'm just gonna break the rest of the wood that I ha that I would be able to break. Because wooden tools are not great. But I always I always use up the tools I always use up the tools that I have. First. Which that broke. So now I'm just gonna break with Because I don't like using my fist. Fifty acacia log. Now I need to find a cave decent enough so that I can find... Oh, and look at that. I don't think that's in an abandoned village. And I see a horse as well. But that horse isn't my kind of horse. So this... I don't remember. I'm just going to call it the plains. Oh, there's bees in here too. This is a great village. I might just keep this. So, I'm going to say... Plains Village. X is ne is eighty seven, almost a negative. Y is sixty eight. Z is one hundred eighty eight. I always do that for my so-called waypoints because then I know where I know where to go for coordinates, which is why I keep my coordinates on. Now I'm looking for a cave, which I found a decent enough cave already, and I need coal and cobblestone. So maybe this won't be edited. This will be a premiere. Oh, great creepers! Way to end Minecraft for me. There we go. I hate creepers. Creepers come out of freaking nowhere just to troll me. So, I did that because I need stone pickaxe and a stone axe. I made two pickaxes. I was trying to make a stone axe, but then it slipped. I'm being very careful. I hate because I hate caves in Minecraft. They they're trying to make it better, but why I hate caves is because it's the home of the creepers. Now I just need coal, because I can't see anything in here. There they are. Look at how cool, look at how good this is. How good this looks. Now I can make some torches. Okay, this is a really good cave, apparently. Apparently I found a really good cave already. I normally would edit 
this, but really I'm not so sure. My goal is to make a villager base, and then, well not villager base, but villager shed. Soon enough, I'll trust myself to go diamond mining so that I can find iron that way. Even though soon enough I'm just going to prefer caves because of the new cave biomes. And also there's the worst kind of mob that's about to be added. Because as soon as you get spotted by the warden, which is the new mob in the Caves and Cliffs update that will be released later this year, it will destroy you if you get hit by it. Alright, 61 torches. Right. And forget it. No, 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 no. Not here. Oh, the sun's setting. It's going to change my music. I'm making... I'm making... The, oh, this is new. But audio. Main is fine. Music. I'm turning that up. Seventy-five. So now it's just on the plain music. I'm keeping my volume up to twenty because I can't really hear anything in Minecraft. And good, there's nothing else here. Just coal. Swell enough. But I need, I need to find a, I need to find a freaking bed. So I'm sorry, villagers. Or, yeah, I need to sleep. I hate, I hate nighttime when it comes to survival mode. I don't even have a sword. It hit me. The very first mob that I fought was a spider. And I'm also going to fight these guys. Rotten flesh. Junk food, really. Is there any beds here? No. I always think there would be. This is actually pretty smart for the villagers. Foolproof. You too. You shall die. only want to sleep which I'm going to have to wake you and then get and then sleep on your bed I'm sorry it's only temporary I'm sorry and I'll see what you have in your chest as well I'm taking all of the apples but not any of your potatoes I'm actually going to put my potatoes in as an offering but that's only temporary uh oh only temporary. I'm pretty much a curse to any villager because of the fact that I that whenever I come to the village they end up dying from zombies and I wish I wouldn't be that way and there's a witch right there jeez They didn't care whether they were they would die, they didn't even heal. They threw a poisonous potion at me. But now I'm going to have to fi find another cave.
I'm gonna eat as soon as the poison wears off. On one health, this bread will have to do. I'm so glad there's a bee in this game, in this village, because that will help a lot. If I, as soon as I smoke the bee in or, and get his honey, but that's never gonna happen because I, I would prefer killing some animals for the food. And dang it! Are there any stone that I have? No, I need to mine some more. Why is because I'm thinking of digging so that I would have enough space to make my villager shed. Because I'm doing that first. So I want three stone shovels. Three because it's just in case my other two break when I make my own base. And I can't make rail, so I have to try to push the villagers in to my villager shed, which where that is going to be is right here. And forget it, I'm also making a stone sword, so I'm keeping one stone shovel. which I'm going to replace the sword for, and replace the wood for the crafting table. It's gonna be a pain, I know it. As soon as I make this shed, it's gonna be a pain to get these villagers inside that shed. Because the shed is not going to have a wooden floor, because if it did, then, I don't know, it would just be a really hard process. And I'm also going to dig out this kind of dirt as well, just in case. So the villager shed which I'm going to make as many of these as I can. See how much I would need. Six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. On here, on this side. And then. I want it to be a 30 by a 30 by 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 replace Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna be. It's gonna have a roof as well. And go figure. I need to dig out this bunch of this batch of dirt right here
And for a little while. First, I'm gonna do this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have enough in case you would. I was playing on it being three high and then and then have a glass ceiling just like in Dan TDM's hardcore survival. So it's basically a replacement of the hole that I made. But instead it's indoors and it's gonna have a wooden floor, I've decided. But it's gonna be really hard to make a wooden floor because that would mean I would need Tons of acacia wood. And something else. I need this. Actually, what am I doing? I can just do this. It's going to be really hard to push the villagers in from this angle. The only way I would be able to push them in is by basically letting them leave their house, get close enough to the base. I need to attract them with a certain kind of craft. Every night I would have to sleep on their own bed because I can't make a bed yet. In order for me to make a bed I need, I need wool. And wood and enough wood I mean no dang it I'm so close I know I don't have enough unless I somehow got enough no, I only needed one! Ah, that's the most annoying part. And I forgot these composts are basically the stuff for the farm. I'm going to replace the wood with dirt for now. Because the next step is pushing these villagers in to their place. And I need to make barrels, which in order for me to make barrels, I need to do this. Mm. I need sticks and slabs. So... I want four barrels, but that, and I'm luring the villagers in there, or luring the villagers to the shed so that I can push them in. Hi, bees. I need to sleep on their bed. Then the next day, I am going to. No! Is there any bed that I, that I can take that nobody's using because I don't have a bed? Yes, this bed right here is the only bed that no one has. It's the same bed, I think, that I used. The villager, villager was like, oh, why Okay, no, that's not it. I was gonna, I was about to say, oh, why not? Take the bed. But nope, that, that was not the village. That was not the same thing. Hey there, farmer. So, 
I need more wood. I'm going to make a wooden floor as well. I feel like if I succeed on making my villager shack, I will... Oh, they have an iron golem as well. That's awesome. This villager is really good. This villager... This village is really good. Hi. I know. The bet the worst part, I also I actually know what I need. I need a librarian as well so that I can get a chance books. Worst thing is, in order for me to have a librarian, I need three books, which the only way to do that is by killing cows. Or in flesh, who cares? And after that, I would need <sighs> Ooh! They have a Mesa bot oh that's not a Mesa bot, is it? Somehow I thought it was. I I was surprised by my, my old shed. It's like, ooh, they have a Mesa bio. But nope, that was just my shed. Tricking me. How dumb am I? Wait, now I know what this biome is. The savanna. Baby, I can't. I'm yawning. I'm recording right now. He always interrupts me when I'm recording Minecraft. But when it's, when it's any other game, she doesn't interrupt me. She doesn't interrupt me when I play Mario Tennis Aces. She doesn't interrupt me when I play... Is when I do a speed run, she she always interrupts me when I play Minecraft and not and nothing else. All right, that's it for that. How much do I have now? I have seventeen, so enough to make a full stack plus four. I need more than that. Because I'm also making my own house, which is going to be made out of oak and an acacia wood. And I have a stone sword now so I can kill some animals. Sorry, but I have to kill those cows. Soon enough I won't, but for mm. now I have to. I need their meat. There's a sheep, but I won't kill it. I'm going to make a bed, and the bed is going to be orange. I need acacia wood. We're we're running out of acacia wood. The only ones are on top of that hill, and I need an acacia floor and a gra and a glass roof, which the glass roof is going to be a not an orange roof, but a blue roof. So it's basically like my villager fortress. Which, I'm still planning to make a fortress out of red, yellow, blue, white, and black stuff. And the red, yellow, blue, white, and black blocks are going to be blocks of quartz, blocks of black stone, it's basically black stone, Red, some something red, blocks of gold, and blocks of lapis. How much do I have now? I need enough to make at most three stacks of wood and then the next step is to make a ooh, what is that that's nothing right I feel like it's nothing 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 much to pick, give attention to other than I found more coal which is nice I love coal I always w use a wooden pickaxe and let me guess that was the only vein of coal nope that would have been very rare and very annoying. I'm sorry for 
you for any of you who are cringing and saying and saying why are you not it's not cringing it's, what was it called I think I said it right cringing and saying why are you not using a stone pickaxe and I said and my reason is because I prefer using the weaker tools first so that I, so that they are used up and then I'll use the stronger tools unless it is for iron ore which I think you need a stone pickaxe to break very sure the only the only ore that the wooden pickaxe breaks is coal then the stone pickaxe breaks iron and lapis and then the iron make, breaks the diamonds. Wasn't there anything else? Or was that it? And also, they've made new berries in Minecraft, but I don't know how to get them. And I should have looked it up in creative mode, but I'm not going to. So far I'm pretty much going far away from this village because I need some wood in order to make a wooden floor in the villager shed. And I don't need acacia slabs, I need oak slabs, not slabs, I meant to say acacia saplings but I need oak saplings because the the oak saplings will give me enough oak trees to get me enough apples but I already have a lot of apples so what more do I need truth is I actually need at most a full stack to make to make 20 golden apples 10 Enchanted golden apples. Okay, that's not true because enchanted golden apples no longer exi no longer exist. So really, I need so really I need at most forty apples to, in order to make fifteen golden apples and keep the rest of the apples in case I need more golden apples. And it's emergency supplies as well. And yeah, whatever. I have dirt. Might as well use them. I thought she was whining at me, but she was itching her ear. Alright, so now I need another, now I need to go back. I'm going to make the same sky garden, and because I've already shown you guys the, sheep, the rainbow sheep, I'm thinking about doing that again, but not on not in the sky before I wanted to keep them safe oh sorry little bee you, you may continue the bees are so cute in this version but in real life they're pretty scary in my opinion no one make a joke about that breads are the bread is emergency our emergency portions. Emergency portions. You know. Barrels don't need to worry about that. Are you kidding me? There's a zombie somewhere. If the villagers die already, I'm going to be very upset. Because I was like, I might as well go in the village and as soon as possible make make their shed so that I can help them make a living in the shed. But then I heard a zombie and, and immediately I'm like, I am already screwed. And my shovel broke. That that is why I need three. In sun setting, I need to sleep on their beds. Very much hoping that there are not two villagers left. I need four. I need four villagers. 
Respawn point set. You can only sleep at night. Come on! Something that bothers me is that I don't think this village has its own bell. Something I'm going to do already is change the difficulty to peaceful and back to normal. And why is because I heard a zombie and I'm like, crap, I'm already screwed. It's not really cheating technically because you can't, because hardcore mode you wouldn't let you, wouldn't let you change the difficulty anyways. But this is over, this is the ultimate one chance world, so it doesn't matter. You can change the difficulty to any difficulty you'd like. Baby, I am recording. How do you distract me on only Minecraft and not anything else? You only distract me on Minecraft. Bailey, mommy called you. Go to mommy. Mommy, mommy called you. Go upstairs. It's funny that my mom, I thought she was calling somebody, but I was wrong. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Funny how I already have close to full inventory, and that, and my only reason for coming here was to get two more stone shovels. So however much dirt I ha I would get is how much wood I need. Except for that's a problem because I already had 60 something dirt in my hand so it's gonna confuse me for how much I need. Something I don't really care about for the shed is that it's for the dirt on the side even though that's gonna bother the heck out of me. I'm, I need more. I need more wood. I know for a fact I need more wood. Two full sacks wasn't enough. Even though I have more wood anyways, but I need more than I have. I basically need five stacks of wood. Maybe not even five stacks. I think I need six stacks. Maybe. 64 times 5, 320. That would probably be enough. And there we go. So, that shovel broke. Now I need another shovel. I got an acacia sapling, anyways. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What I should have done, which I think I will do in editing, is speed up my building for this base, which I'm going to, which I'm still doing, 
because this normally takes me a while to make anything. And I'm making the villagers shed first because I wanted to let them live for longer than last time because the last time I made the last time I got them to live somewhere didn't end very well. So I need another full stack of wood. Oh, it's raining. Great. What kind of rain? It's just plain rain, isn't it? It's not a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms are rare. Which, thankfully, in this version, you can make lightning rods. Doubtfully, I have enough wood to make... the flooring of this and then after this I'm making I'm pretty much digging out sand to make a glass ceiling in this place is it night no it's not somehow I thought it was I already feel like putting this on peaceful so I need more wood I don't have enough wood as is. Those are the underwater? And they can't get out? I don't want to punch them, so I'm going to do this. So that's where you've been all this time. Go on. I don't want you to die by drowns. So far, I've only made one waypoint, and there's a wandering trader. The most annoying part about you guys is that you don't have an emergency bell. Is there a way to craft a bell or you have you only trade it by villagers? I don't I think you need to trade it by only villagers. Which I am going to see. B E you do. You only get it by trading. Beehive which you can't craft alone and the beacon which you which you can't craft alone so as soon as it turns into night I'm running back to the village and sleeping but look at this they have tons of houses this is basically a really good village Except most of these houses aren't really livable places. Hi. Sorry. I'm just looking. Hi there, fisherman. Farmer. Sorry. I really want to sleep. Don't know what time it is in this ga in this game. Fisherman. I can take his barrel. Oh, that literally is a lake. They timed that well. There's an ocelot that I'm not going to tame. Oh, me. This house is very, is very worth, is very trustworthy. Gonna make a pillar of dirt here. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fall fall from this would make me die. Unless I fall on the root first. Because then it won't kill me. There. Somehow I can still eat. No, that's just a glitch. I was like Somehow I can still eat, even, oh, it's turning into night, even if 
I'm full already. But no, this is a glitch. An unfixable glitch. I saw the sky getting darker. Don't play tricks on me. I saw the sky getting darker. I can also make a boat. There's their bell. Hi there. Pretty much as soon as you sleep is when I know it's nighttime. Even though the sky's getting darker, so you're not really sleeping because you're an, you're an idiot. Maybe because I woke you by my bell. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully I did that. Hey there, bees. Not gonna bother you, even though I'm running very fast. Imagine they added that in the future, like you run, you run, and the bees get mad. There's still that iron golem. I'm not gonna punch it because, of course, I don't want to kill it because I love iron golems. They are very useful. So this might be a wa a long video because my goal was to make a villager shed and then after that help myself make a living. Making ugly dirt piles. How much do I have now? Almost enough to make a full stack. I need a I need a stack and a half of acacia. Then I'll make oak fences. And my axe broke. That's fine. Comes to show that I'm poor and have no iron. So, I have tons of dirt. How much wood? I didn't check. I have 21. This is the last tree, so I'm not really bothering to chop it up with an axe. I'm hoping that the frames won't be affected in this game by the old by the older world I was trying to delete but couldn't because that would make me pretty mad if that did affect the game because I deleted it before but it didn't get removed entirely and I have no idea why and where's my village I am very far away from it but I know where it is I basically moved straight back and it's there Unless I'm wrong. But as soon as I climb up this, then I might see it. Yep, there's my pillar. That means I'm there. There's my villager shed. Which I am going to... Make these. Full stack and a half. Really, it's a hundred wood oak. Alright, acacia planks. If that's not enough, then I'm just going to all, I'm just going to make the fences and fence gates. And then... Ninety-four. And then after that, I will end the video here. 
if I'm going to name my Minecraft Ultimate One Chance video is we make a villager shed right away from my return in Minecraft Ultimate One Chance. And I have in I had enough wood. Interesting. I'm also making an I'm also making some plank some uh, some fences and fence gates. So I'm going back. I actually need to mine some more things. So I need to find another cave, which I actually know where it is because it, it was next to my thing. But it's also here. So where do I go? I almost did the song for a Veggie Tale silly song. And there's nothing here. It didn't trap me. It didn't trap me. What was I thinking? It didn't trap me. I need to find iron so I can make armor. And this is a good enough cave. Decent cave. Fine, you get to die. Congrats. Congrats. You made a mistake coming here. I need a stone sword. Replace a stone pickaxe and put it in the first slot. Be very careful. What was that? Copper! And it's broken by a stone pickaxe. Now you know that it's basically Dwarven Mining Company because copper is as com is almost as common as coal. I got twenty one raw copper. But I broke the copper with the stone pickaxe because that was just in case it couldn't be obtained by a wooden one. And yes, this is sped up. There we go. here, towards there, and then I am going to mine some iron first. I'm going to do, oh great! Ha! Joke's on you! I think I'm already going to have enough iron. What the heck? The iron ingots look different. I've never seen that. I never saw that the iron ingots look different this time. And this is not a this is not like a texture pack or anything. That's actually what it looks like now. That is really interesting. They don't look. And wait. Raw iron. They're not iron ore anymore. It's just raw iron. This is really cool. Pretty much reacting to stuff already. What the heck is this? Ah! No! You're not going to kill me. The 
Emergency supplies. <laughs> Alright. I'm already out of here. Even though I don't exactly know where I'm going, but we'll manage to figure that part out. Four. Ah! No! Please! Please, no! Ah! Destroy him! I wanted to see what this was. Oh! Interesting. But how much iron do I have? I have fifteen. It was in my it was in my key wet spot is what I'm calling it. Because that means quick select. Eh! Ah, there's more coal here. The more cold, the better, I always say. <laughs> since, uh, what? Since a pretty long time ago, honestly. Oh, look at that. Coal was really good at that point because it gave me more iron. I wonder if you smelt the raw iron just like you smelt, you smelt the iron ore because I hope they made that possible. I basically have enough, almost, for a whole st for a full set of iron armor. Which was my which was my other goal as well. Because I need twenty four in order to get, in order to do all of that. Because four for the boots, eight for the chest plate. Five for the helmet and seven for the leggings. Sorry, villager. So, just blagging a bit. I'm very. Oh no! You better not. <clears throat> Protecting the villagers from the zombies. The best way to do it is by is by putting the difficulty on peaceful. And I thought that was something, but it wasn't. I'm going to turn the difficulty on peaceful again. I fell. Took damage. <clears throat> so I need I was mining for something. I'm trying to figure out what it was. Because of the floor. I needed an axe, that's what it was. I got some stone, so I where did I put my crafting table? Because it's not in my inventory. It's next to my villager shed, I know. If it's not there, then I'm going to make another one because I can't find my crafting table. Where's my villager shed? My gosh. There it is. My base is going to be really hard to find. So there's my shed. Villager shed. 
I cannot. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say I cannot find my villager. I cannot find my crafting table, but I found it. So now I need. What is this? Block of raw iron. And a block of raw copper. They've made new. Th they've made new things. But why? Why I'm really here is because I need the furnace for one thing, which I love calling it the furnace, and I was going to get an axe for what? Oh, oak wood. That's what. Don't need to shovel anymore. I need tons of oak wood, but not the not the one where the beehives are. Making sure there are no beehives here, which there aren't. I need how much oak wood do I need? For one thing, I'm keeping the acacia wood for barrels to lure the villagers to my villager's shed. I don't know why I chopped up this tree. Dirt. gonna chop up the wood with my fist at that point. Looking for oak trees and trying to get a full stack of oak logs so that I won't have to worry about needing more. And also I would get apples and an oak sapling which is what I wanted. Because the more oak, the more oak I get, the better. Since I'm making a basic house with an acacia wood, with an acacia roof, I'm thinking of making a basic house with an impressive basement. But that's gonna take me a while. So either I'm going to make a plain house or a mansion. It's gonna have eight rooms. And the best thing about the mansion is that it's gonna be. It's gonna be like. It's gonna have four rooms on the bottom, two, and. So yeah, it's gonna have six rooms. And it's gonna be like. An interesting mansion. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I prefer I prefer just making a mansion as it is, but decorate it to make it look like it's not basic. Because I'm not a good builder in Minecraft. I never will be a carpenter in real life, so I'm never a good builder. How much wood do I have? Twenty six. I need I need to place these dirt somewhere because I don't need them. And I feel so bad for what I'm thinking about doing to it, which was putting it in villagers' chests. Because otherwise I can place it in my junk chest, but I don't have a junk chest yet. I don't have any chests because I'm not planning on making a base in this video. In the next video I am, and then I'm going to be mining in caves, even though I hate caves, but it's the only way I can find really cool stuff. What am I looking for? Looking for freaking chests, and I cannot find them. Hey farmer, how's it going? I'm looking for one of you guys' places so that I can put 
my dirt stuff in there. Or I can place it in the fisherman's chest. He's gonna wonder why there are such things in there. In the case of saplings as well. The bones and the strings and the spider eye. Keeping this. Putting anything I don't need in the barrel, which is very bad, but still. Well, copper. I have everything I need. All right. Hello. There's a there's a desert, which I'm going in next video as well. That has a beehive in it, doesn't it? Or is this tree good? I'm gonna keep that tree there because it looks pretty it looks pretty cool. That has a beehive in it, I think. Yep. It does. I'm looking for oak trees. So that I can find Oh, I'm starving. Thirty-two. So I can make two full stacks of planks. A full stack of log is four full stacks of planks. But at least I need two and a half stacks. I got another apple. This one is barely breaking off. The more oak planks the better. Because I love oak planks. A lot. And there are ruined portals, which I call broken portals. Oh, dang it, that was Acacia. I thought it was oak. And I was like, yeah, I found an oak tree. Nope. Dang it, it's setting. The setting sun. Ah, and that, and after two more sunsets, I'm ending the video no matter how far I've gotten. Which sucks! Where's the village? I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way again. There's the village. I need to go back there as soon as I can. <coughs> going to my pillar this time. I won't really need to defend the village if I make a village if I make a villager shed, I won't have to worry about defending the village that much. Hey you! Yeah you! Shot that! Die! Yeah! Hiya! 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 Die! I'm not risking it. I only want to be in here. Real quick, like. Hey there, friend. Bed is too far away. Oh, really? It's not like you hop on the bed and sleep? Hey there, blacksmith. Sorry about that. Huh. Ow. Where? Where? Right there. You're not gonna get me. Ha! Ha! Ouch, what the heck? He actually got me. There we go. 
What did I get? Got oh, bone. Somehow that looked different. Somehow that three looks like an eight to me, but it's not. Alright, I need to heal because I don't have any armor yet, and I'm planning to get armor soon. Meow! How much wood do I have? 36? How much is that gonna get me? Two full stacks. I need sticks and I want it to be made out of acacia wood. Not made out of oak wood. In order for me to make it out of acacia logs, I would have to do this. Is that gonna work? Please. I want it to work. Make it out of acacia wood. Come on! I'm gonna have to deal with it for now. Because I also want fences. What do I do about the fences? How do I make fences? I'm apparently missing something. Oh, right, I, I need a crafting table, I'm an idiot. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. There. That's just in case. So, I need... A good enough fence area with fence gates which for fence gates I need five I need four of and then let's see well, how far this gets me 54 fences so I'm planning for it to be like this for a demo One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, I guess, one, two, three. That's what it's gonna look like. No! Dang it! One, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. I did this too. I did this too far. This is gonna be a do over. Good thing I have this axe. Funny thing is, I have enough, I have enough, oh, dang it, my battery, be right back. Like I said, I 
The funny thing is that I have enough oh, I have enough oak fences for me. to It's funny uh, as well that I actually made exactly enough room for my villagers to stay. One, two, okay, I know what to do. I think I'm just gonna judge it by dirt. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll delete this dirt and replace it with a fence. One, two, three, one, no. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, no. What the heck? One, two, three. One, two, yep, I have exactly enough. Exactly enough room for everyone to be in. And now the fence gates. One here, one here, no, what the heck, that's not where I placed it. I placed it right here. And then one here, and one here. And I'm luring every villager with barrels. I have enough left over for my fences and I didn't think I would but how much I needed instead of 52 was 36 interestingly no not 36 what was I thinking I made 52 so 52 minus 18 is I'm trying to figure this out in my head 34 32 plus 18 is fi is 50. 34 plus 18 is 52. But 52 that doesn't make sense. It has to be some it ha I don't understand how that is possible. Oh, because 50. Wait, 52 minus 18 is 34, which doesn't make sense because 52 divided by 3. Oh, is that even? I feel like that isn't even. That's not even. Make that doesn't make sense then. I think I I think I made 54 gates. That makes more sense. 54 minus 18 is 36, so I'm so I basically had 56 no, 36 gates in there. There are fences in there and fence gates over there. Now the now it becomes the hardest thing, which is which is making it out of sticks and slabs, which I'm making it out of oak slabs. Because that's better that way. And it's about to be night. Where's my pillar? Right here, somewhere. I placed my pillar somewhere right here it's 
So this is the last sunset. So after this video, after this sunset, and one more day, one more day of making stuff. Come on. I am done for the for the episode. So now the hardest part is making barrels so that I can attract villagers to their fences. I need four barrels. And I need to attract the villagers with those barrels because then the villagers would want to go in the in the gates in order for them to And I also need beds. I need to replace I need to replace their beds so that they know where to go. I'm gonna start right now. So basically, their beds will be on the right, and the thing that they will be using will be on the left. And I might replace... I might replace the villagers. Like... Uh, yeah, I might replace the villagers if they're not if they're not going to trade me the best possible thing which for the villager that was a librarian I want them to trade a mending book mm -hmm. only a mending book and if possible a protection book because protection and mending is pretty much the best thing for armor and I can get the rest of the things by fishing So, getting it going, I am going to place the beds like this. It's going to be bed there and the thing that they're using right there. I'm opening every single fence gate. Only until they are in their right places. And I'm also placing torches or lanterns inside so that they won't get harmed. Most likely lanterns. So now I'm looking for beds. Some that the villagers may even use and wonder where their beds are. Unless every one of them is going to be boring and white. Which admittingly I do think white, uh, white covers on the bed on beds are pretty boring colors. Because I think of white as like an empty color. So this is basically like a villager hotel, except they're staying there for their whole lives so that they won't get harmed by any mobs. But I want to find a bed that is not white. Even if I have to dye it red, which I can do. No, where do I find beds? I've been looking in... I've been looking in the wrong places. Doesn't beetroot get dyed as well? Maybe I'm wrong by that, but I feel like I feel like I might be correct on that assumption. Hey, uh, hey there, my friend. I'm not gonna punch you, but hello. Nice to see you. I'm taking I'm taking these beds to their rightful place in order for the villagers to sleep 
on their rightful beds. They need to go to their shack. Shed, but I call it a shack for now. Because soon enough it will, it will be referred to as a shed. So, the yellow bed are going to be on the left and right sides. And then after that, I'm going to end the video here. And the next video that I'm going to re be recording is going to be me making my base, my house basically, that is almost the exact same as the last one. And hi, what, what are you doing in there? What was in this chest? Potatoes that I never took because I don't really like cooked potatoes that much in Minecraft. Even even though they're like bread, and that's very much why I don't like them. I'm sure there were more than one. There was more than one yellow bed. But fine. The next bed I see, I'm going to replace it with yellow dye and make it a yellow bed. And this is the bed I see. I'm going to replace it with yellow dye and make it yellow. Even though I could, I could also do this. Make it a red bed. Black sheep, I want an orange bed, basically, in my base. Wait, what did it just do? Red bed, which I which used to be the plain old vanilla bed, but I'm doing it here. I, yeah, sure. What are they? Potato chips. Oh, thank you. I love these. Yeah, I don't really like them. I love any kind of potato chips. I love them. Really? But... Yay! I'm just gonna take some. Yeah. I really like these. So now the most painful part is for one thing making barrels so that I can attract the villagers to their spots. I need to make boats. Which the only way to do that is to make planks for one thing. And make an make a shovel out of wood, which I can't because I don't have enough sticks. Now I can. Wooden shovel. Now I can make a boat, which I want to make an acacia boat. Because it will be easier to use the boats. Put them in their fenced area, so I'm actually going to make this a 2x2 two two door. No, I'm not using a sword, no worries. I don't have a wooden sword, so that's how you can know. So that's how you'd know. What the heck was that? I need to put it on the. on. easy. So no matter how far I get, 
the next sunset is going to be the end of the video. All right, villager number one. I'm going to test how much you fit in this boat. But I want you to be on the boat. Of course you won't. Because the sun's about to set. I have to mash it. I guess I'm sweep I'm sleeping in one of your beds. In my in the shack. Which I'm going to call it the shed at some point. Because it's preferable. So next time in Minecraft Ultimate One Chance, I'm going to be using a lot of speed up. This one I'm, ex I'm making an exception and premiering this for as for how for however long this video is, because even though this is temporary, and I'm going to put it on my streams play on my streams playlist, even though it's not a stream, I thought I saw a zombie, but I didn't. I am fine. So next time in Minecraft Ultimate One Chance Temporary, I am going to put the villagers in my shack. And after that, I am going to make my base next to their shack. And after that, it's going to be a smooth sailing journey on my ultimate one chance world where I'm going to also make my own pond and fish out of that pond and right right there the music has has opened up sorry I'm saving and quitting bye